Hello, and welcome to another episode of Presence Practice with Poonam and Parker. Hello. Hi, Parker. So, hello. So today's topic is humility. And Poonam's going to give us a, we were just having a conversation around this topic, so I thought it would be uh, a nice to include you with us in this conversation. So certainly we'd love to hear your wisdom and we'll share a little bit um, here. So I see a lot of role-playing humility. So I would love to hear you speak a little bit to that, Poonam. Uh, so they even have a, a, a modern term, humble brag where you do something nice and then share it, make sure that people, everybody knows about it. But I feel like that's like compassion with training wheels. Sometimes people need to act out something uh, before they it, act, they it actually becomes something that flows from them very naturally. Or they're, they act humble because they think they should. This to, I should do this. Uh, it's it doesn't come from a deeper impulse or a deeper understanding. It seems that uh, we are all connected, all equally important. That we sit in service really to each other. It, as we're all growing here, uh, we also have uh, be, be behaving as if we should be humble and saying all the right words, but all the manifestation and behavior around says that there's a tremendous amount of arrogance and identification with the ways in which you may be winning on a relative or a, or a horizontal dimension, right? This person does really well at making money. And so that offers lots of stability and safety and maybe better health care. But that's not being able to recognize that you're lucky, uh, but then also recognize not, not doing anything to support the lack of inequality is still not true humility. So what is true humility, Poonam? Um, It's just a vibrational energy of uh, non-resistance. So as Eckhart says, acceptance is one of the modalities, right? The three uh, modalities of awakened doing, one of them is acceptance. The other one is enthusiasm, and the third one is joy. So um, as we are moving through life, we may not be in a state of enthusiasm and joy. Like, um, because we are participating, we are not like Eckhart in a um, secluded uh, island, living in a secluded island where there are no people around us, right? We are dealing with the normal unconsciousness of uh, whatever is going on with us. And I work in corporate America. So um, I just recently had a new job and uh, there was some question about the formatting of my email, the way I was responding because it was too kind and compassionate. And so I was called in and um, yeah, we went, uh, we talked about it, talked over it. I understood how the email should be written, but I felt that the person, my coworker that was talking to me, um, I felt like some vibrational energy of viciousness from this person. And then I realized that that is resistance, right? And so from presence, I needed to dissolve the resistance and move into humility, into gratitude that I moved from one job into another job without any loss. You know, people could have uh, waited two months, three months without a job, right? Without any financial loss, I moved 
from one job into another, I need to be in a state of gratitude for this position that I have right now and humility. I need to be, I need to humble. I'm in that position because I am new. I need to humble myself. Yeah. Right. Also, I, I want to talk about how humility just is a natural outflow of any kind of transaction, any interaction, whether we're spoken or otherwise, our energy seems to precede us in our interactions with people. So one thing that I noticed, like we were doing a video earlier and we were talking about the person that was riding right on the bumper of my, my car, but I, it's so easy to recognize the humanness. It's to truly deeply inside of us take a moment to fully recognize, have we not been vicious in our lives? We not been angry, we not reacted strongly and violently in some way with word or action. Have we not rode uh, the roads with our neighbors in an aggressive way, making all kinds of good reasons? And we know that it just feel the push, the push of that unconsciousness, the energy of like the the rush of that energy of anger and rightness and tightness of arrogance if we have not fully see, witnessed ourselves dispassionately as scientists curious to see the insanity inside ourselves then it's we can't leave people alone right? which is ultimately you know what humility allows us to do because there's re we really don't have a lot of stories about the people around us or what they're doing if we recognize that we too are frail and human and have tripped and we cannot assume that we won't do it again we've grown too spiritual that we're entirely too peaceful and present uh, as soon as we feel that we've we are no longer in that we're no longer present so i really want to talk about humility is that flows uh very naturally it's to uh, recognize that the other isn't really other at all and that we are a brother's keeper and we take care of we, we take care of ourselves and let that flow out very naturally in into the world it's you know you're not better than other peaceful you're not celebrating your present moments all the time yeah I did it and these other people are not doing it Look at me winning. It's not going to take us very far. And we're not going to remain present. And suddenly you're not present at all. But if you could realize deeply how, um, what a tremendous amount of suffering it is to, to suffer unconsciously. And that these that, that souls are baking in the stew of suffering with many, many, many different stories and manifestations of that. And do we not also, can we not feel the density of that? Have we also not been in that soup ourselves? And then the compassion that you're speaking of, Poonam, it flows just so naturally, right? And And uh, what I feel is, is the way we know that our vibrational energy did shift to humility is the next week they say, I've done a perfect job of how I've changed my email format, right? And they love on me. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like the one, per the person that would, that had that vibrational energy of certain negativity or viciousness, whatever we may call it, that's a labeling, that's a human labeling that we are putting to their vibrational energy to explain it. But um, the fact that my vibrational energy shifted and the fact that the next week, all of them appreciated how I had changed showed me that I, I my vibrational energy of humility 
that I accepted whatever they were saying is what needed to be, that I needed to have compassion for this person that was put in the position to have this converse, this really hard, difficult conversation with me, right? Have compassion for that and gratitude for the fact that I actually have this job that I just moved, like the universe just flowed and moved me into this job. I have not experienced financial loss. Between the gratitude and humility, the appreciation for the job, their energy changed. So that's the transformation that we can bring about with just our vibrational energy, but it all arises from presence and maybe in one, one of the videos we can talk about, when we say presence, what does it mean to be present? We'll do another video on that. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Thank good. you, Poonam, for your wisdom. Thank you, Parker, for joining me. The one consciousness expressing itself in countless forms. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.